always a little sketchy how they do this. But it ain't Ben's first rodeo. There we have it, sounds good. Never a good sign when you find this inside the car. Curious if it's open or not. Uh, but that's why the car is running. I'm gonna let it run for a few minutes. But look at that, alternator seems brand, brand new. Um, and the car for the most part is actually fairly clean. Just very minor things, you know, like this that I'm noticing in it. Something like this underneath the seat. But overall, pretty darn clean. So this is a limited. Uh, I wasn't expecting it today, so I don't have my camera, but I had one of these actually not too long ago, a few weeks ago, and I bought it and I sold it super fast. It wasn't a limited, uh, but it was in very good shape like this one, but this one I would say is in better shape. And again, this is limited. That one didn't have leather seats or anything. Uh, as the DVD player. No, no, maybe that was a different one I was thinking of. But we also have third row, leather interior. So I would say a pretty nice car. I wanna go upstairs, I wanna check uh, with my scanner, see if I could take it through DQ and then try to take it through DQ right now. You found something? Okay, throw it over here, baby. Good job. So I'll do that and then we'll try to take it through uh, DQ and if it goes through with no issues, then guess what guys? I got it right now and I'm listing it for sale right now. Here are the results. Monitors not available too. Monitors okay eight. Monitors incomplete zero. That means this car is ready to go. So I'm going to start it again and continue uh, letting it warm up as I take off the stickers and then the sold sign. Chloe over here I get it. is helping us. You did it? Kenya, you have to do this one. The older two are in school now, so <laughs> I get the little one. So vehicle has 97,000 miles, which is pretty low. I think this is a 06, 07, somewhere around there. But I would say interior is in fantastic shape. I mean, tires are fantastic. The car overall is in great shape. Motor sounds healthy, sounds happy. As long as there's no transmission issues, this one should be a huge winner. Because if I am not mistaken, with shipping, I'm like three grand into this thing. $3,000, that's it. The last one, I got it for a similar price, lower class, higher miles, and even that one I think I sold for 4,800 bucks. And it was, I mean, I didn't do anything with that car. So if this one is going to be the same story, then I could sell it, say, for five, two grand, easy money. Let's get it done. A few moments later. As expected, Ford passed with no issues. I took it up to like 60 miles per hour. It runs great, shifts good. Uh, notice that we have power folding seats, which is actually super awesome. The one thing actually, I don't know if this is a four by four or four wheel drive. So it might be just a standard rear wheel drive car. But aside from that, um, it is ready to go. But I am going to take it to my detailer just because, okay, like seats and everything else is pretty darn clean. But things like this, I get very bothered by it. Like little sand, I mean, the, the hairs and whatnot. Uh, inside the cup holders. I mean, just very minor stuff. But when there's a lot of the minor stuff, that's what I get really bothered by. I almost like rather have no minor stuff, but one big stain rather than no stains or anything, but a lot of minor things. I don't like that. But here it is, the latest and hopefully quick, quick flip for me. The next day. Yesterday, I took the Ford home. And on my way home, I stopped by Serge's shop and we put this Ford <clears throat> up on a lift. Just, he was working, it's kind of late. Um, 
but he was working. I was like, yo, can I stop by for a few minutes? I want to get this thing lifted up and take a look. So, um, thank you to him for allowing me to stop by. And I think we found the coolant leak. Super, super simple. But before I kind of flip the camera, we have a new battery in this thing. We have a new alternator. And the best thing, we have a new transmission. We lifted the thing up. And the transmission is the same color as this. And obviously, you know, the engine block looks like this and transmission looks like this. So, I mean, it literally seems like a brand new transmission. I don't even think it's a like remanufactured unit or whatnot, but the coolant leak seems like it is coming from uh, somewhere around this area. So what I am going to do right now is actually disconnect all of this somehow uh, undo this bolt. Basically, the goal is to take off this airbox assembly, and that will give me enough room to get in there. I know where it's kind of leaking from, so I just want to see if it's a cracked hose or like a bad fitting, something along those lines. Uh, but obviously, this Ford had a lot of work done to it recently, so I wouldn't be surprised if they kind of misfitted a hose or something along those lines. So let me grab some tools and we're gonna get this thing started. There we go. So it was either leaking from like this area or somewhere down here. Let me actually grab a flashlight, start looking. Uh, but yeah, this looks like a odd three-way connector. Okay, let me grab a flashlight. As it's all disassembled, I'm actually going to start it. I'm gonna get in those hoses. It is a pain. And uh, I guess I just wanna see where it's actually coming from. So once it warms up, take a look, see where the coolant is dripping from, and hopefully that'll be a little bit easier for me. I know it's going to be a little loud in here, but I think the problem is right there. You guys see that very, very faint, uh, the, the bolt it has a little bit of whiteness on it. So it's probably dried up coolant and as you can see there's a very minor gap. So I am curious if it was replaced at some point and they just didn't tighten that bolt down all the way and it's just seeping. Because honestly, the coolant leak is super, super minor. Uh, obviously, I drove it, you know, past DEQ with it. I drove it back to the lot. I drove it to my buddy's shop, from my buddy's shop. I came home, it's running now, and you know, it's not overheating. It ran fantastic. Um, but again, I noticed it because after I took pictures of it, there was a few drops. I was like, okay, well, what is it? Smelt it, uh, I smell like coolant. So that's why I want to take care of it. That's why we are where we are right now. But the car has been running for about 10 minutes now and I don't see anything dripping. And I don't want to give it gas because the throttle body will open. And I don't want it to suck up something unnecessary into the engine. So I'm just doing this on idle. From everything that I'm seeing, I'm almost certain that that's the problem. Uh, it's actually the heater control valve is what it's called. And I have some that could get delivered today for 25 bucks, brand new. Um, I'll see what other options I have, but I think I'm gonna put it back together, take this for to my detailer so you could take care of everything. And then once I get it back, um, by then I'll have the new valve and I'll get that replaced and Ford will be ready to go to the new owner. Two weeks later. And the Ford has been sold. Uh, first, family that came out to look at it. They didn't even start it, they didn't even drive it. They took a look at it and said, we'll take it. I offered them a small cash discount, I think $400, and the Ford is gone. So total profit on that one was around $1,000. Again, it wasn't a high profit vehicle, but I did very minimal work. Um, and I was just looking for a quick sale. And that's exactly what I got. I got $1,000 in my pocket. I'm happy, moving on to something else. So I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time. I'll see you guys in another video.